Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Ernst Almanus Scott Selections here for Wednesday, July 24th. For again, today's play of the day, quick recap of what happened yesterday. We had a loss in baseball at the Pirates' first five, minus half for on and minus 130 on Bed Rivers. Max Skeens expected him to pitch well. He did. He was actually really good in that start. Only give up one run in five innings. Unfortunately, the Pirates could not score a single run against Lance Lynn. It was embarrassing. Uh, they had the bases loaded twice, in once in the second, once in the fifth, did not score either time, and they finished the first five down one nothing. So kind of an annoying loss there. I'll look for a winner here on Wednesday. For the actual play, though, to remind me once again, there are more picks on our website. So go to the website, and you do use the promo code L9KYW. That's 44% off. Code is also in the description. Plus, a reminder, hit the like button, subscribe to the bell, so you get notified, and I'll never miss an episode. Now, for the actual play, going to baseball once again, you're looking at a matchup between the Diamondbacks and the Royals taking place at around 8 p.m. Eastern time. But for this game to go with the first five under, five runs of minus 120 on BetMGM, time recording of 3.30 a.m. Eastern time. Coverings where we're going to go with the first five under in this Royals game. First reason the Diamondbacks offensively have not been great recently, as they have scored less than five runs in three of their last four games. Plus, the Royals this season have really not been great offensively early in games, as the Royals are averaging just 2.34 runs per game in the first five innings, which ranks tied for 17th in the league. Now, the main reason why we are going to take the first five under is actually the two starting pitchers going for this matchup, and both of them have been really good, especially lately. So Nelson's pitching for Arizona. Last four starts, 24 and a third innings pitched, a 2.22 ERA. He's also allowed less than three earned runs in four straight road starts. So Nelson has been better on the road all season long, especially lately, and I think he should look sharp in this matchup. Now, as for the Royals, they have Waka pitching, who's quietly been one of the most effective pitchers in baseball for the last couple of months. Last 10 starts, 58 and two-thirds innings, a 2.3 ERA, and he's been good at home all season long. So far this season at home, Waka has pitched 45 and two-thirds innings and has a 2.96 ERA. Point is, though, both pitchers have been solid lately, and I do think with five being the first five total, the line does feel a bit high. I think Waka can keep this team in check and hold them to maybe one or two runs. Nelson maybe will get into trouble, but I do think he's kind of turned a corner on his season, and he has been very solid recently. But with two pitchers in good form, and once again, Arizona's offense scoring less than five runs in three of four, and the Royals not being a great first five offense anyway all season long, I do think five's too high. I think they should finish somewhere in the realm of three to four runs in the first five. Five's a push, too. It's not the end of the world if they end up with five exactly. But I don't see six happening in the first five, so I am going to go with the under in this spot. Well, then once again, here for Wednesday, July 24th, it's going to be on the Diamondbacks and Royals game. First five under, five runs, a minus 120 on BetMGM. Bye, everyone.